DLDR, at the end of the day, you want to have as much uptime of borrowed time as possible, as close to 50% as kind of realistic as possible, right? And then you want to be penancing on CD, ideally spreading a dot every time you do. And then whenever you mind blast, you, you want to mind blast on cooldown, right? You want to have at least one Radiance stack. So unless you're like trying to heal a lot of burst, you're usually just using Radiance once to let it cool down. Save the second stack for emergency so that you're constantly getting that those two extra ticks for wheel and woe. And then when you mind blast, you definitely want to have those extra ticks on the pen penance for that penance because obviously it's empowered. So that's kind of like the rotational healing. And then obviously you're just using CDs when shit gets hairy. Usually you want to use the CDR early and then if you've got something you can spread a lot of dots to, you, you can just spam penance, spread the dots loads. If not, you just do like penance shield, penance shield. And then you want a dome if they like get stunned and they're getting bursted because they don't have any kite potential then. Generally, I try not to grip too much because I don't want to encourage your Andes to stack on me. I'd rather have them playing out on the map. So if they're out on the map, I feel that is more valuable. Unless I have to grip, but yeah. So then, yeah, just I try and get the first Rapture in early. Not necessarily using the shields, but using the cooldown quite early. And then you can like hold the shields for a fair amount of time until you need them. Make sure your shield's on cooldown when you Rapture as well. Because you don't want to lose the shield value. And then, yeah, PS is a kind of just like emergency button. You want to try to ultimate penance like 50% dampening onwards. Something like that, if you can. Obviously, sometimes you're going to have to use it. But yeah, if you can get it like that late, like 50% damp, you're going to get good value out of it and you're going to swing the pressure and force them to use something to swing it back the other way. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of that how I use my cooldowns and like the rotational healing aspect of it.